Hello everybody, uh, this is my uh, new motor, if you've seen my other videos, I uh, changed it around so that it was this one here on a piece of wood and I couldn't get any work out of the axle so I took it apart and uh, made it into one where I can have some work out of the axle. I put a squirrel cage in the middle here, but uh, I don't seem to be getting much power from it. I wanted to show you what it looked like up as close as I could so that I could uh, maybe get some ideas from somebody. Uh, I have it north, south, north, south on the magnets on the inside. And, uh, I have a bar magnet with two neodymiums on each one. So uh, only putting out like very very small amount, like three millivolts or something AC power. Uh, I don't know. My wires a lot heavier than what you suggested, but uh, it's the only wire I had at the time. I got it out of a old uh, pool filter motor that somebody was throwing away and uh, maybe that might be it uh, but if you've got any ideas uh, let me start it up and uh, uh, see if uh, see what it does and stuff and you can see if maybe I've got something wrong here uh, let me see Put this one here It syncs up good. Uh, both motors are synced up. I, uh, I'm doing the other one there, trying to get the other two rotors to sync up on the on the one motor, on the one coil there. I learned that it's good to have the uh, magnets the same distance apart on the two different rotors. That way, there, you know, they can they sync up a lot better. And these ones here are about three and a quarter inches apart on both of them. This one's a lot, this one over here is a lot heavier than the other one. It's made out of uh, the wheel and a sander, a belt sander, and some magnets on the outside of it. A lot more magnets, big magnets on the inside and then little magnets on the outside. But uh, let me see, uh, show you what I'm getting here. Have this hooked up. Like you show, like it says on the star configuration here. That is the paper that you gave me uh, on, on your cheap place there. But uh, I've got all, everything hooked up just that way. But it just, as you can see, I'm getting uh, 285 millivolts. So 285.2 millivolts. You know, it's not much at all. I can't even light a little uh, LED with it. And, uh, oh, yeah, uh, maybe you can give me some kind of idea on why it's not putting out enough power. Yep, that's it. Keep working on it. I'd like to figure out some way to get a little bit more power, maybe put bigger magnets in there, or I don't know, maybe I'll just have to get some smaller wire. This is about 20 or 21 gauge wire. Uh, the coils are, this one's 26 and this one's 30. And this, these are both 26 on this one here. There's, trigger and the run. Uh, yeah, I wanted to show you this here too. I've got this set up so that I can get some power from the bottom of it. Let me uh, shut this off real quick. Let's see what that's doing. It's 
not giving as much as I could. I got this magnet out of that pump too. It's uh, neodymium with a hollow center and it's got north-south on the sides on the other side of that line there. I don't know if you yeah, see the line there. One side's north and one side south. Uh, I'm not too close to anything without it grabbing it. Let me see if you can see that there. Slide this right out. And this goes right on here like that. Let me see. Unplug this one. Unplug this one. Oh, I think that's it right there. This one, and uh, I think that's it right there. All my connections are hooked up here. All right, and then uh, this one here runs really good. It's very quiet. I was thinking about getting this heavy gauge magnet on the bottom of it and running it through a coil like this here. Uh, there's another squirrel cage. It's just made a lot different, you know. I don't know if I have to put get the magnets way out on the outside there so it's a lot closer. Uh, but I've got a few different things to try now, I guess. Uh, you can see it runs along pretty good. This thing goes really good it's really high speed and it's real quiet the things I like about that one but just can't get any much uh, can't get as much work out of the axle as you can out on this one here but uh, no, I guess that's about it uh, you know, if you have any ideas for me please uh, let me know thank you bye